today I have brought another video for Unix support interview questions uh, which are all SCD related commands so SCD stands for stream editor let's begin so the first thing is we need to understand what is uh, this SCD command right so SCD stands for stream editor uh, it's a sort of non-interactive editor um, uh, where I mean instead of altering a file interactively by moving the cursor on the screen like we have VI editor or the other editors on the Unix platform the user sends a script of editing instructions to SCD right so um, um, yeah I mean SCD works like a filter so it helps to delete insert changing the characters words and lines of a particular text right so its range of activity goes from small simple changes to very complex and advanced level so um, yeah i mean basically it has been used uh, very if it can be used very efficiently in your uh, unix shell programming unix shell scripts as well so uh, it reads its input from standard input or from files or from both right and sends the output to standard output or if it can be made interactively by using certain parameters which we will talk which will will talk about it later and it's a simple find and replace tool okay um, where I mean and SCD is used for many other activities other than searching and replacing the text so um, SCD command in Unix is basically used to replace and find the text but SCD command also has many other uh, things which we can do with this particular command apart from the replacing the text and it is used to search and replace a string and it there's a multi-purpose filter string as well so the very first question can you create a file using a CD command if yes how so the answer would be no we cannot create a file directly using a CD command but there's a way but the output of any instruction given to a CD command can be redirected um, to any file which can be newly created that means the output of a particular SED command can be redirected to um, a file which can be created at that time right so the next question how to replace all occurrences of word sorrow by Virat in a file okay so uh, the answer would be here SED um, double quotes s slash sorrow slash virat slash g double quotes old file and this is um, redirected to new file.txt so we need to replace all occurrences of word sorrow by virat here s represents substitution so substituting sorrow word sorrow by virat um for all occurrences so g represents for all occurrences in a file if we don't use g that means um, we are going to just replace the first occurrence on uh, on each of the lines from this file okay the other way is uh, over here uh, we are going to whatever the instructions are given to this particular SED command it, and the, the output of this particular instruction will be redirected to a new file so new file will have the um, content with virat in place of sorrow okay the next the other way is like if we need to replace all occurrences in the same file we can use hyphen i over here so SED hyphen i and the same thing but we don't have to use this right so we're just replacing all the occurrences in the same file so it will edit or modify this particular file 
So the next question, how to print display on uh, the first line of a file without using head command, right? So using a head command, it's very easy, but if we want to use some other thing, um, it's with SED. So SED um, over here in uh, single quotes to a uh, comma dollar space D single quotes file.txt so what is happening so this is um, like another way to use SED um, for various text manipulation purposes like this so how does this command work the D parameter over here basically tells uh, SED to delete all the records from uh, display from line two to the last line so over here the dollar represents the last line and it does not actually delete those lines from the file why because we have not used hyphen i over here so it will be just printed uh, uh, i mean we, we just need to display right so we are going to display the very first line of this particular file but if we want to actually modify this file so we can use over here hyphen i okay now the next question um how to print display the last line of a file without using tail command right so the answer would be um here scd hyphen n um the uh, single quotes dollar space p single quote file dot txt so um, from our uh, previous answer we already know that dollar stands for the last line of the file so here uh, dollar p basically uh, represents uh, to print the last line okay so dollar stands for last line and p stands for print okay and hyphen hand uh, this is actually a switch to make this particular uh, instruction or the execution in the silent mode uh, that uh, basically does not print anything else in the output right so it will just display the last line of the file okay now the next question is how to remove the first line header uh, from a file so answer here would be uh, a cd um, single quote one space d single quote file.txt so here d represents uh, to remove or delete and one represents the, uh, the line number so first line would be deleted from this file this and this command is not actually going to remove the the first line but it is going to display um, the output as a second line onwards that is it is going to just skip the first line but if you um, actually uh, have to remove the first line of this particular file um, i mean you want to modify it so you can either use by using the redirection method to create a new file or you can either use um, scd hyphen i over here right okay next uh, so the next question is um, how to remove the last line from a file in unix scripts so it tells you to actually modify the file uh, by removing the last line okay so here we can use scd hyphen i in single quotes dollar space d and file.txt so dollar represents the last line and d represents um, to delete or remove the line and hyphen i represents uh, to edit the same file i mean it helps to modify the same file file in change okay now the next question how to remove certain lines from a file in unix so here um suppose we want to remove the fifth and seventh line in a file 
Okay, so SCD hyphen I in single quotes five comma seven. So these are the line numbers space D. D represents to delete or remove and file dot txt. Now the last question: How to check the length of any file in a file? Sorry, how to check the length of any line in a file? So, um, see this particular command: sed hyphen n um, single quote 35 p file dot txt. So it is going to just print the 35th line um, of this particular file. Right. So if we want to check the length, so we can um, use pipe and then we can use word count with switch hyphen C for character. So it is going to count the number of characters of 35th line, whatever has been um, printed over here. So it will be counted over here. It will display the length of 35th line of this particular file okay so this is all we have uh, for SED related questions um, in unique support area um, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much bye bye